the success of the Socialist Party candidate for president in France, François Hollande, on Sunday the 6th of May, may well be a turning point in modern European history. François Hollande, the Parti Socialiste candidate, was widely predicted to win after he scored such a high result against the sitting president, uh, Mr Sarkozy. What is significant, though, about Hollande's victory is that he's made it clear that Europe should move from austerity to growth, and that growth was actually the only way to see the deficit repaid and the doldrums that Europe's in economically uh, removed. This victory, of course, means a new dynamic in Europe, possibly a new renegotiated partnership and agreement with Germany and the rest of the Eurozone. And if people think that in the UK we're immune from all that's going on, they're sadly mistaken. Together with the election in France on Sunday was the election, of course, in Greece, which showed parties from the far right and far left showing how angry they are at the current government there and the huge austerity plans to try and pay off the deficit and make Greece become solvent again. There is a lot of, there is a lot of uh, precedent there to worry about. The right-wing parties couldn't form a government. We saw the election of some neo-fascist members of parliament in the Greek parliament. We also saw uh, the election of some far-left people too, uh, and representatives of this new party, Syriza. They at the moment are trying to form a coalition uh, to try and take on the government of Greece in Athens. Whether that will succeed or not remains to be seen. If there is no success, there will be a further general election. But in the end, a solution has to be found. Greece cannot be allowed simply to drop out of the Eurozone with the potential damage that could do to the whole of the Eurozone economy. We don't know yet what's going to happen. For me, François Hollande's victory in France is a good thing, because I believe, like many in the Labour Party, that we need less austerity and more growth in order to get ourselves out of the deficit. Unless we have that growth, it is the poorest and the people at the bottom end of society, both in the UK and the rest of Europe, that will suffer. Let's hope that François Hollande can be successful in what he's trying to do to put Europe back on track. And what happens in Europe affects all of us, especially in the UK and in Leeds.